And it's interesting how what I learned is men and women keep score differently. Does anybody notice that? Like if you're single in the room, take notes on this part if you don't want to be single. Right, this could be very valuable. This, this will be worth what you get paid to get in here, even if you got it for free. He gives this talk and he says, men and women score differently. He said, men, for instance, like this is the way an average guy would score his day. You know, he gets up in the morning and he really doesn't want to get out of bed, but he decides to get out of bed anyways, give himself 2,000 points. All right, he's off to a good start. I got up. He goes into work, he works hard, does a good job, earns some money for his family. <clears throat> 3,000 points, right? Doing a good job, working hard. He decides to get out of work on time and actually head straight home and make it home for dinner. 500 points, right? So he gets home and he's got four or 5,000 points. He's doing pretty good. He says, like, man, I got 4,000 points. And what does he do? He goes and sits on the couch, flips on some sports center, and lets his wife catch up for the day, right? <laughs> Just kidding. I'm not saying it's right. I'm saying this is what he thinks. He thinks, you know, he neglects the fact that she worked all day. She took care of the kids. She cleaned the house. She's got quite a few points herself. But that's the way a guy scores himself. Now, let me just show you. If you don't know how the game's played, you're going to be very misled. Because this is how she would score the same day. You got out of bed even though you didn't want to. Ding! One point. Right? You went hard. You worked all day long. You, got, you did a good job and earned an income for your family. You come home. Ding! One point. You come home early. You make it home for dinner. She's great to see you. Welcomes you home. Ding! One point. You got 4,700. She's got three. All right, scored the same day. And I see how that could be a problem, right? How the scoring difference make, makes a huge difference. And it's so fascinating that we score each other differently when you understand that it starts to make sense. Here's a valuable tip he, he told me. You know, how many women in the room would love it if your man brought you a rose tomorrow? Right, well, you guys, it'd be a pretty big deal, right? You'd be like, I'd like that. So here's how a guy thinks. You know, you walk up, you give her a rose, and she's all excited. I got a rose. And she goes, ding, one point. So like, one rose, one point. I'm going to go get her a dozen roses, right? That's how we think, right? Here's the tricky thing with women, though. You come home with a dozen roses, spend 90 bucks, hand it to them, and they go, oh, thank you for the flowers. Ding! <laughs> One point. Now, watch how powerful this is. Which, how many ladies in the room would rather receive one rose once a month, every month for a year, rather than 12 at one time? This is, sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm going to get booed out here. <laughs> But here's the power in that. See, either way, it's one point, and they would rather it be spread out. So guys think, that's totally impractical. Like, I think I should be able to go to the store, buy her a dozen roses, and that'll keep her for a while, right? <laughs> it's like, no, it's one point. This has to be a continued process over time, right? Yeah, I'm telling you, this works. It's valuable. So once you understand how the scoring is done, now you can use the scoring to your advantage. Now it's you spread the roses out over time. Or here's another one, uh, when if you want to earn a lot of points, if you're looking for bonus points. <laughs> there's, a, there's, there's a thing he said, he goes, you know, let's say you really want to earn some points with your wife. He goes, I can teach you how to earn points with doing practically nothing. How many guys would like to know that? Like, that's, 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 that's valuable. I want you to know I keep scoring. He said, plan a night where you're going to take your wife or your fiance or your girlfriend out, and if you've got kids, arrange for a babysitter, make the reservations, and plan it all out. And he goes, now here's the key though, don't keep it secret, don't try and surprise her. His advice is never surprise a woman, right? <laughs> he's like, he's, he's, his thought was, if you do that, you're an amateur. <laughs> he's like, never do that. And he goes, here's why. He goes, you go back home and tell your wife, hey, I just want to let you know, next Friday, I got it all planned out, we're going to dinner at such and such, I got a babysitter for the kids, we're leaving, I got you, everything's taken care of, right? Bing! He's all excited. Now here's the power in it. You just told her two weeks early, did nothing yet, and you already got a point. Now watch this. All right? Isn't that good? You just got to know how it's scored. You can play this in your advantage. Now that's powerful, but watch what happens. Now every time she runs into a girlfriend of hers and tells them about what you just did for her, ding, you did nothing, and it's adding up as she's going around telling people. All right? And the cool thing is, she goes out and tells her girlfriend what you're about to do for her, and you gain a point, and her poor husband loses a point. So it's like, it's like double coupon. You look really good, brother eyes. So, so knowing, knowing that, it makes sense. Here's another one. Uh, another thing that you can get points with your significant other is to engage in meaningful conversation. Right? So most ladies would say, if I'm able to talk and you just shut up and listen, you'll get a point for it. Right? I mean, that, that's... For a lot of us, that's meaningful conversation. As long as we don't drift away and don't pay attention, right? we got to engage them. But watch this. Next time your wife starts talking to you and she comes home and 
she starts sharing some concepts and she's like, da 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 talking about dad. And and you look at her and you go, Really? What else happened today? She'd be like, Bing! Right? Your point, right? <laughs> Thanks, pay attention. And then she goes on, she's like, la di da la di loop de doo and you're like, loop de doo Ding! <laughs> right? You're paying attention. Here's a big one. She comes home, la di da di da 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 Well, how did that make you feel? Ding, 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 